Hey guys, it's Amber, and today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own composition book cover in Canva. This works on Canva Free or Canva Pro. This flower one was made in Pro, but obviously it can be made in Free. So first, you're going to want to design whatever you want on your cover. I went ahead and did that. So this is just like a paper texture, but all of these are single elements, as you can see. And then I just export this page as a PNG and then I upload it back into Canva so that I have this. Then I drag and drop it into my frame that I made, which I will link in the description if you want to make it super easy on yourself. And then you can customize the composition book label like I did here. The label is fully customizable. You can make it rounded, square, pointy. You can change the color. I decided on this font and then I went ahead and saved this as a PNG again and then printed it out on normal paper. Very important to print it out on normal paper first. That way you can see if your sizing works. Mine wasn't 100% the right size for my composition book, but it personally doesn't matter to me. Um, and once you like your size, you're gonna go ahead and print out again on sticker paper this time. Um, if you're balling on a budget, you could totally just keep it on normal paper, but for the sake of this tutorial, I wanted to go all out. So I used a sticker vinyl paper, which I will link in the description below. It was only $8 for 20 pages, I believe and then you will stick it to the front of your composition book. That's literally it. Now I will walk you through how I made this frame as well, just in case you wanna do your own custom sizing. While I have you here, let me tell you about my brand new Facebook group. If you want strictly Canva related content, make sure to join this free Canva group on Facebook. I'm posting all my usual content as well as guides with link tutorials where you guys can really learn and I will be uploading quizzes to test your knowledge. Obviously they're optional, but I think it'd be a fun way to just really better your Canva skills. And yeah, the link for that will also be in the description. Hope to see you there. This page is a standard eight by five or eight and a half times 11 size. And then this frame basically is a custom frame I made based on the measurements that I needed. So to do that, you're just gonna measure your composition book front from the black stripe on the left to the right, basically, because you're not gonna glue over that black strip. I just personally don't think that'll do well. So for example, I'm gonna summon a square by hitting R on my keyboard, and then we're gonna go to position, and then we're gonna adjust it over here. So for example, mine was 6.75 by 9.75. And so that is my full cover size from the black bar to the right. And since my composition book has rounded corners, I was a little extra. And so I copied this and then rounded the corners on it just minimally. And then you're gonna put it on top of the design, go to the bottom and just move it. And then you'll see the left has a straight edge and the right has a curved edge. Now I am going to make it all black and I'm gonna share it as a PNG. Then we're gonna go and head over to one of my favorite websites, not sponsored by the way. <laughs> I wish, um, pick SVG, totally free. Upload that picture and you're gonna go from filters and you're gonna change that to internal. This will swap it from being a outline to a filled line. And then you can see whatever details you like best. Sometimes strong obviously gives you way more detail. Then you're gonna go ahead and download that SVG. Then you're gonna head on over to Photopea. If you haven't learned how to make a frame yet, what are you doing? Go watch my tutorial and learn. Okay, now we have our frame here that we just made. And you're gonna go to File, Open and Place. And you're just gonna place a random photo on top of this. And this is how we're gonna make it into a Canva template frame, basically, if you plan on making multiple of these. You're gonna turn that photo into a clipping mask. And it, as you can see, it has clipped to the frame. Then we're gonna go to File and Save as PSD. Next, we're gonna go back into Canva and we are going to upload that PSD that we just made. Once uploaded, you'll find your PSD under Projects and you're just gonna import that into your design. To remove the front photo layer and make it into a frame, you're gonna click on it, hit the backspace on your keyboard. Then you're gonna move it again and delete the back layer. And now you have a frame. One more step, we're gonna go back to position, arrange, and we're gonna adjust the height since obviously the height is not the same. So we're gonna go back to 6.75 by 9.75, basically the original sizing that you made your template. 
Now you can just drag and drop basically any design that you want into this and then cut it out after the fact. I like to add the label on top. So to do that, I just made a rectangle, made it white. Then we gave it a little outline and then you can go ahead and resize that. Then I copy and pasted it and made a smaller one. This is just the style I like. You can obviously do whatever you want here or even grab one from the internet, but I like to have them customizable. And then I made this inner line a little bit smaller. Then we're gonna add some text, of course. So since it is a composition book, that will be our text and the lines. So hit L on your keyboard and that will bring up a line that is way too thick for our design so we're gonna make it one and we're gonna shorten it just a little bit and then duplicate and one more time there you go now you have a customizable label on top as well and so i like to group all of that together except for the frame so hit shift and then click on the frame it'll remove it now you can move this label as you please and also you can change the color to wherever you want it to be. Same with the text, you can make it literally however you want and match it to your theme. So that's how to make the frame. If you don't wanna make it, again, it is in the description, so make sure to grab it. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I can't wait to see what you create. See you in the next tutorial.